I guess. So, real quick, before the night gets too late, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt because it's like, part of me is cold and then like, you know, my legs are, are hot. So it's just funny, you never regulate, right? So, last night, I went to bed and I woke up around like three in the morning and I was in so much pain. My back hurt really bad. My legs hurt really bad. My head hurt. My throat hurts. I kind of thought, oh my God, do I have strep throat? I felt nauseous. Like I could like just throw up. My stomach was just going crazy. So I did not get very much sleep last night. I slept from, I slept, um, from probably like midnight to about three in the morning, like I said. So I finally, I got up at three and I just, I couldn't fall back asleep. I took a hot shower, put some CBD oil on and just kind of sat there and I played Candy Crush because there's nothing more you can do when it is like three in the morning and I totally was like waking Justin up on accident, like not on purpose a hot shower just trying to get like rid of that pain and it just was not going away I did have a doctor's appointment with my endocrinologist for the phlebotom the phlebotomist yes and I did my vitals I totally passed out and cried and I kind of had a meltdown thinking if I can't even take an IV, what makes you think that, or if I can't even get my blood drawn, what makes you think you can even handle surgery? One thing I do notice, my hair is definitely like thinning. It's not nearly as thick as it used to be, but my neck doesn't look as, in my opinion, as like thick as it did before. So that's just a little update. Justin is gonna bring our laundry down because my back is still killing me and we have a lot of laundry upstairs so I can hear them <laughs> but that's really it um, I have a lot of other like little things I had to do all day today took Justin's car in to get serviced it turns out that that mechanic can't do it it's low on Freon and they need to put more in but I guess because his is a special car it's not special. It's a 2016 Honda Civic. But I guess because he doesn't have, like, they have a different um, Freon thing than other cars, I guess. So I found a different guy who's going to do it for me. And just, like, it's going to cost me, like, 65 bucks cash. Whatever. That's fine. My throat just hurts. It feels, like, just really tight today. We'll see. I'm... They said they get the blood results back in three days. So I will definitely give them a call in a few days just to see like if the medication seems to be working, if my levels are normal or if they're not. And if they're not normal, it's probably because of me because I haven't been 100% consistently taking them, which is not good. So I was really good today and made sure that I was being consistent and taking the, the pills on time. But that is it. Um, I'm heading to a counseling session tonight just to go over a few things. We're having a lot of like stresses in our life with me getting sick and Justin, um, I guess like when you're sick and you don't feel good, it's kind of been like a little stressor on him, so we're going to just go and we're going to talk about that. And with my grandma being really sick and we keep getting worse and worse news every day, it's just good to go to the counselor and just talk about it and figuring out how to like really articulate the way we feel. So we'll see how it goes. Plus I maxed out my deductible, so why the hell not go? But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.